Welcome to my channel, I am Miss Necropon. Here's another Breath of the Wild tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the boss fight, Thunder Blight Ganon. To be safe, make sure you have at least two one-handed swords and a wooden shield to use for the third phase. As you enter the first phase, Ganon will have two types of moves. The first type is when he does a zigzagging motion to attack you with his sword. Make sure to have a shield up when this happens, he is likely to attack you from the right side. As you deflect his attack, this is your time to strike. Break his shield and slice him relentlessly. Alternatively, you can also do a perfect dodge and strike him with Flurry Rush. The second type of move that he will do is when he floats above you and starts shooting thunderballs at you. They're really easy to dodge and you can also shoot arrows at him to knock him down if you want. After reducing him to half health, he will move on to the next phase. So far, the fight has been easy, but the second phase is when the real fight begins. Watch that. To start, make sure you have your magnet rune and a wooden shield ready. Go ahead and try to get to higher ground closer to the center of the battlefield. He will start dropping metal pillars on you. Just make sure you are not close enough to any one of them where they can shock you. This may take several tries, but you need to pick up one of those metal rods with your magnet rune. Get it close to him in mid-air as lightning strikes so it strikes him as well. As soon as he is struck, the third phase begins. Jump down to his location and strike him with your weapon. This phase is now an amped up version of the first phase except he's much more aggressive, his weapons can be imbued with lightning and he can also do a guardian beam on you. While his weapon and shield are imbued with lightning, I highly recommend sprinting away from his attacks and wait until his weapons are no longer imbued. Once they are back to normal, feel free to use the same strategy you did in the first phase, but if you want to be efficient, backflip perfect dodging is simply the best way to kill him before he kills you. You did it! If he happens to try and beam you down, make sure you can either run perpendicular from his beam and or hide behind some solid obstacles. If you're an advanced player, you can also use a perfect guard to deflect his beam with a guardian shield. Rinse and repeat to defeat him. This concludes my tutorial. I wish you the best of luck defeating Thunderblight Ganon. I'll see you all next time.